got a lot of hashtags for today, man. This Salvation has just been one hell of a show. One hell of a showing out. But, but, but god damn. And we got a fan. Oh, and there he is. God damn it is this. A member of Team POS, he just tagged with his former member of Team Awesome. God damn it, fucking Ryan Stevens. I do like this entrance, but he is one hell. Of, he is one piece of shit. This is our second match in our second round of our Salvation Tournament, the first ever Salvation Tournament, and we are going to have a classic BWA Salvation. Ryan Stevens versus Derek Speed. Friends, two tag team partners, two assholes. <laughs> nevertheless, this should be one hell of an ignorant ass motherfucking match. I'm not even gonna try. A piece of shit and a member of the tribe of chaos, the leader of the tribe of chaos. Yeah. Two members of their respective teams right now. One of them being the leader, and then right now, the sadistic, the sadistic conniving. Like Eric Stade right now. In case you didn't know, this is what happens when you get a mix of shit and chaos. Once again, the disturbing. And another one, he got a goddamn grenade. Like, he still got that grenade. I'm waiting for that shit to blow up. I'm waiting for that shit to blow up and for him to die at this point. I think they're getting ready at the moment because they have an anticipated tag team matchup coming. They could, they probably, but regardless, maybe he told them to go in the back or something. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Well, yeah. And this yeah. bullshit crowd here in Dundalk, Maryland. I don't know if they, I think they're kind of spent after all this excitement that they've been getting throughout this entire, this entire show. Salvation has been one hell of a show. We got an piece of shit and a tribe of chaos member. Let's do it. A piece of shit and chaotic fuck. Let's, let's, let's get this shit going. You know, I've always had a question. What is a fuck? What is a fuck? What exactly in, like... I don't know, but I think we're about to see it right now after after he sees. And the so nonchalant attitude. Yeah, definitely. Feelings. It never fails. It never fails, and he and he still knows. He still knows him to his T, to a T, to his core. I think I think Eric Spade's feelings might be hurt damn it, oh, uh, I don't know about that. I don't think he has feelings. Oh my God, and a gut kick right there. That oh my gosh, and a punch. Eric Spade, good to the back. Ryan Stevens is still on him. Oh my gosh, and a vicious clothesline. And starting off showing the power, the power of one Ryan Stevens. Laying his former tag team partner up. They might have coexisted once upon a time. Once upon a right time. Right now, it's that, a straight business. That is definitely a world ago. Two very different teams, two very different and look at the look at that, that nice that nice Christian chin lock that he has right now. I think he wants to call himself the chin lock master. Oh, never mind. I, I think he broke out. No, 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 no. No what? No what? No chin lock in there. No chin lock. Well, yeah, no. He definitely got out of that one. And he's working on that arm that was worked on earlier in that tag team match. Yes. That arm. I, and a chin lock of his own, says Eric Spade. Eric Spade gaining control here in this match on that piece of shit. Come on, Ryan Stevens. And look at this, the sadistic, the sadistic face that he has inflicting the pain on Ryan Stevens right now. You know, it's very surprising that Ryan Stevens... Oh my gosh, and he just kicked him, kicked him in the face. It's very surprising that Ryan Stevens would go on and rejoin the team of uh, POS. POS. Oh, excuse me. It's alright. We're enjoying It's POS a lot of excitement. Instead of coming back and reunite with this newly found group, his former tag team partner, his best friend, is created. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know what it is. Maybe maybe he just didn't see any, any reason to be chaotic. But then again, maybe he just decided that he only wanted to raise. He knew that Ryan oh my god, that's super kick! He knew that Ryan Stevens didn't need him in the first place. 
They don't need each other. They can excel separately. They can do their own thing. And that's what you're seeing right here. Definitely. Two of the best in this business going head to head. That's one. Six more. Next they setting them up. Oh, and the super kick to the back of the head. Oh my god, and a running super kick to the front. That's three. He hit him with three super kicks right there. That's it's insane. These two men are so even. They know each other so well. Look at this. Know each other's weak point, strong point. Oh my gosh. Oh shit. Oh! The high flying antics of Eric Spade right there. And it never fails. It never fails at all. Eric Spade, ladies and Is that not the greatest thing we've ever seen? You ain't shit. Sure, sure it was. Sure it was, sure it was. What's your name? My name is William P. Wills. I don't like you. Damn, really? God damn. You don't even know me. My paycheck doesn't speak. My paycheck doesn't have Eric Spade signed on the bottom of it. No, I believe it has uh, Rocky Phoenix in it at the moment. Unfortunately, so, yes. No, oh, jeez, man. Would you rather be my, uh, Michael Norris? I'd rather be Chris Bone. Oh, well. Who unfortunately is retarded at this time. Got that. Well, shit happens. You never know. But back to this match at hand, where Eric Spade has been dominating this matchup right now. Eric Spade is very dominant right now. Right? Definitely been kicking the shit out of him. Literally, obviously. Eric Spade getting him up to his feet. What's he gonna do? Catch oh, he tried. Oh, oh! Super kick to the inner thigh. Taking that foot out the Whitworth. I think, I think he's trying to systematically break down the larger, the larger mass and regardless of Brian of how Stevens. I feel about one Eric Spade, that was a very impressive move. Oh, and the fan, and the fans, and the fan call, and the fan called you a kick, a thrust kick. When he's fans to distract him, a very stupid move. He should be focused on his former tag team partner. Who is a, is, is definitely an asshole. Uh oh, super kick! It's a super kick party. Oh, it's god damn! God damn, trading super kicks. Trading super kicks right now. Oh my god! Oh, a groin elbow. Knocking his ass down. Definitely, that that definitely could be it. That is the same groin elbow that knocked out. That knocked out Ace Anderson right now. And X Pit getting out of arm's way, which is the smartest thing right now for him. He ain't got to cover as quick as three, but you don't know he's up on his feet. Definitely, he had to get out of there as quick as possible. Oh, hell no. Are you serious? Ah. And yep. at the end of the day, he's still awesome, bitch. Well, well, at the end of the day, he's still a piece of shit. That's right. Regardless, that he's playing bond games with each other at this point. Oh yeah, yeah. Let me get mine too. And what in the world is going on right now? Oh, they're, they're fixing themselves right now. Okay. Both of them fixing themselves. Oh my God! And Ryan, Ryan Stevens being a piece of shit right now and just taking advantage of Eric Spade having his back turned a little bit. I love it. So smart. So smart. I mean, I mean, maybe he has still a little bit, a little bit of care for Ryan Stevens. Just a little bit. You got a referee, a referee. Definitely. Well, I don't see him not calling down the middle. Senior Al Rafe is what we call him right now. And he's working on the face. Yes, yeah, definitely choking him. Oh, well, okay. You're right. You're right. It was the face. And the tables have turned in this matchup as now Ryan Stevens is the leading man. Yes, he is. He is now the dominant force right at this moment, showing that he has he has he's he has the big goals right now. And there and god damn it, Ryan Stevens with those dirty ass tactics showing why he is the original piece of shit. Oh my gosh. Just gouging out his eyes right now. 
framework. No, then all it does is make them look white. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what I come to work to. Every two weeks, this is what I come to work to. Yes, yes you do, and you get paid for it, so be glad. I get paid for it too. I wish I get paid more handsomely. I feel like I my, don't. my intelligence is being insulted. It might be, but I wish I get paid more handsomely. I'm not even gonna. I'm, I'm not even gonna stop. Well, look at our rent. We can't get paid that much. Yeah, I know. Like I said, I wish I was getting paid handsomely, but I'm not. This is a side job. Well, yeah. Some people get paid every two weeks. from the guy in the audience who doesn't wrestle. Sure. Oh shit. Yeah. Well done. Uh -huh. oh. Taking his time, work. Eric Spade is. Some people get paid every two weeks. Oh, and then the Ryan Stevens counting, weeks. counting with. Oh my god. And counting with the ref. <laughs> and getting back in the ring is Eric Spade. Both men to their feet, what's gonna happen now? You said now you said in the last match that you had Eric Spade to win the win to win it all. So if he so you, you feel that he can he's gonna beat Ryan Stevens in this match? I have no idea who's gonna win. These both are very well even. Yeah, it is definitely even. Yeah, you you never know. But anything can Eric happen. Eric Spade is my pick to win this entire tournament. So yes, I am going with Eric Spade. And right now he is definitely showing his dominance right now. I am a boy. <laughs> oh, the nice Simpson arm lock. No. Right there, if, if, if he had his shirt on, thank God he doesn't. If he had his shirt off, we would see possibly the arm coming out of his socket, quite literally. Look at this. Look at that. It's downright disrespectful. That was disgusting. Yes, it was. Well, he, he, he is definitely sadistic. You never know what is going through the mind of Eric Spade and what he's going to do next. That's right. That's right. Ah. And just stopping, stopping on a piece. Oh, I know what he's going for. I think I know. Wait, wait. Oh, yes, wait. Oh. Hey. <laughs> And there like, you go. And you, like I said, you never know what's going typical through the Eric mind. Spade. You never know what's going through the mind of Eric Spade. Typical Eric Spade. But it, it is effective nonetheless. Is it? Well, his opponent's down. And I'm sure the five knuckle shuffle is very effective. I don't know. I don't know why you even brought that up. Oh, the nice a very European nice uppercut. Europe, beautiful European uppercut. Definitely flying with graceful ease at his opponent. Oh, and barely getting to show up as Ryan Stevens. Only a two count. Only. Only a two only count. A two count. <laughs> and right now. That's how I feel about the man. He's still my pick to win. Eric Spade is going to take the entire thing home. Shit is getting. I don't it's know what's real. It's definitely getting real. Oh my gosh, he's just stomping. He almost stomped him into the ring. God damn it, he almost put him through the ring with that stomp. Uh oh, maybe he's here to save him. Yo, oh, you got funny. Making references at our own King James, Raleigh James, my pastor, who I go to church every Sunday. Well, anything can happen at this point. He's got him in the nice. I wouldn't be surprised if Raleigh James comes out here and slaps you in the mouth just for talking like that. That makes no sense. He, well, he can say his ass in the back after winning his you match not, against Rob Bayo. What you is talk disrespectful about my past. Your past, your, your past is despicable. But nonetheless, he is effective in his job. You know what? I'll see you after the show. But anyway, back to this match. Back to this match at hand. Brian Stevens, damn near about to tap. Is he going to tap dance? No! Tap, tap dance. He said no. Well, he, yeah, he's, he's not going to tap. That must have hurt his legs right now. He's about to tap like tap that chairman. What? <laughs> what? I'm right. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm back to this match right now where Eric Spade is still in control. That's right. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my gosh. And a Roy elbow to the back of the head. But he couldn't cover him. He couldn't, he couldn't get it. He couldn't capitalize. He is down after all the abuse that he's taken in his matchup. That could have been it. If he could have got to him, that could have been a three-point fight. That could have been. It could have been it right there. 
If he tries to cover him, I don't, I don't know if he's gonna get the. He might get to the cover. I think he's slowly, he's slowly getting there, so close. Draping the arm, just. Both men spent the matchup, and you still have to keep in mind that whoever wins this still has to go on and compete in another matchup. In, in the a main triple event. threat matchup. I'm sorry, not the main event, but a winner to take on the number one contender. I'm sorry. The winner. So much. I know, I understand. <laughs> so and, much. A, and the winner becomes the number one contender to take on the BWA's undisputed champion. And here we go, the cannonball! God damn! That's a big nigga. Yeah, it is. He put all of his weight into that That's cannonball. And he damn near folded his damn self up. Right. But he still, nevertheless, it was an effective, offensive move. That is a cannonball. I don't know what Rockwell Kelly does every week. That is a cannonball. Hey, this is Santa. Oh, shit. Oh. And a shot at our own Eric A. Sanderson. Who is definitely in the back right now after, after losing to Brian Stevens after that. Well, yeah, yeah, in the beginning of the show. In the beginning of the show. In a nice show, and he is nothing, nothing to be ashamed of. But neither man, it was a damn good matchup. Only thing was, I didn't understand why he looked over here when he said Ace. Ace is not over here. I don't know. Maybe he just wanted the camera. He just wanted the camera to catch it. That's all I can think of. That's all I can think of. We are over here. This is our announcer booth. Eric Spade in this matchup because he is still my pick to win. Eric Spade, you need to get yourself together, son. I got money on this. You got money? What? What? You you betting too? Don't don't ask me all that. That's what? What? I said what I said and I meant what I said. I, I'm, I'm going to need you and that nigga to stop. Oh, he went to try to... Oh my gosh! And a bat breaker. And a bat breaker. Putting his dumb ass in check. And he can't capitalize at the moment. But eventually he will have to get up and try to cover this man. Or try for another offensive move. This has been one heated, the heated contest. It could go. It's been going back and forth. It can go either way. Either men can go on to this triple threat match. That's right. That's right. And right now, the ref is at a count of four, and neither man is not is barely. They're barely. Uh, I know they're breathing, but they. That's now they're starting to move. They're starting to get up. Count of six right there. And Eric Spade is starting to get up, but Stevens is still down. Jesus. Uh oh, this could be it. It's, it's, a, it's a cover. One, two. Oh my gosh. It was incredibly close to a three count, though. It was only, it may have only been a two, but that was incredibly close. That bad breaker may have taken, taken all the wind out of him. Thank you for breaking that. God damn, I think he might have snapped his back in two. Yeah, it, it broke him so bad, he broke the fourth wall on that kill one. switch this week. Mm, well. Well, I'm guessing he, he got a little vacation today or something because of this tournament, maybe. I don't know. Ryan Stevens has not seen an action since Donald Now, he came back and seen that we joined. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and an exploder into the corner. And that might be it for Eric Spade. God damn. Shit is getting real. We don't know what the, I don't know, is, is, it is, is incredible. Bullshit. I know for a fact, for this, this, for this match, shit has gotten real. Like, the crowd, the crowd isn't so much dead, it's so much expense because of all the action has been, yeah, damn LOL is right. All this action that's been happening. Oh, wait a minute. Is he going for, oh my God. Angel Wayne. Yeah, uh, apparently. They're getting it in. And he's not done. done. What I tell you? What I tell you? That was an aggressive uh, ass kick out, but he like had man. to kick out man nevertheless to stay count. in this matchup. Uh, he ain't gonna go down just like that. Uh, and he still has one more match to compete in if he can right. win this. <laughs> Uh, here we go. This could be it. Wait a minute. Let's do a Snapman driver. What did I tell you? This could be it right here. God he just has to cover him. He just has to cover him. And this dead ass double across. One, two. Oh my God. 
He kicked out. God damn. About that, this is this is little, this is better wrestling. Ain't better sounds right now. Listen. I could hear a pin drop right now. Yes, but the crowd has been on their feet literally from the beginning of the show till now. They have literally spent all, all the action that is happening. You sure they want to walk to the bathroom? I don't think, I, I think we got what, what, one or two bathrooms? This is an amazing matchup and we are not getting the respect we deserve for this match. Well, as true as that is, regardless, the fans at home will understand, they will watch and they will know that this match is definitely amazing. God damn, he hit him with it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my god, oh my god, he got him! Oh, he got him with that! What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Eric Spade going on to the finals. The statistic, Eric Spade has won, has, has successfully, creatively pinned his former tag partner and, and gone on to the finals to face a triple threat match against Roland Havoc, who is who in many occasions he has tried, he has tried to get to him to bring the Warhound out, along with himself and one member of Bromance. We will find out that member possibly the next match, maybe. Eric Spade conquering the names of Ace Anderson, conquering the names of Eric Triple H, conquering the names of his former tag team partner and team awesome and Brian but, Stevens. But and will he conquer the name of Roland Havoc? and a member of the bromance. Damn, are you still awesome? It doesn't look I should have saw that coming. I didn't hear with that before. Damn, LOL. Damn, it doesn't seem like he was that awesome today. Aaron Spade will be moving on to our finals in this matchup. The triple threat that will decide the winner of the first ever Salvation Tournament. And crown the number one contender of the BWF Undisputed Champion. And we will be back with more salvation. Stay tuned. Hashtag. Tay Party hashtag. Damn LOL. Hashtag. BWA salvation. Stay tuned.